Summoners War fans, get ready for a truly epic episode where we'll be summoning a mystical creature. We'll be doing some matchup and rival fights. We'll also be facing a massive monster in the dungeon. And last but not least, we'll be summoning some powerful monsters with crystals. All this in part 5. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ben and welcome back to Summoners War part 5. Very excited to be back to you with another video from this awesome game if this is your first time make sure to watch the previous parts and how do you guys like the intro <laughs> just something that I, I thought I'll give it a try let me know in the comment section if you like it please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends I truly appreciate all your love and support but enough about me let's get back to the game I'm showing you some of my monster summoning pieces you can only get these from uh, the secret dungeons and it's time to summon that mystical scroll. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Oh, this is exciting. Ooh, looking pretty badass. Succubus. That's a four star succubus. So a succubus is some sort of a female demon with a dark side to it. And no, I did not just Google that. <laughs> And while we're at it, let's go ahead and use uh, some crystals for another mystical summon and see what we're gonna get. It's also a 4 star. Today seems to be my lucky day. Also, today seem the theme for today seems to be the dark side. So we got a vampire, pretty badass looking. I love the hairstyle, love the, the clothes. And uh, right now, I'm gonna do something that I've been waiting for a long time to do. Uh, and it took me a while to get all the uh, items required for it. Yes, you guessed it right. We're gonna awaken the fairy, the water fairy. Are you guys ready? Alright, let's do this! I'm so excited! Well, that was awesome. Hello, Elusha. Love the transformation. Loving the new look. And is it just me or she should totally do a shampoo commercial? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if you think I'm insane. But also if you think this is a good idea. <laughs> and with that being said, let's go ahead and have our first matchup battle. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the first time we're going to have a matchup battle in the entire series. Uh, probably not against this guy. He seems to be uh, tough. So he give us a tough time. Let's go ahead and fight the second guy, Slayer J. Let's slay the Slayer J. Sounds good? So before the next fight start and we get to kick Jay's butt, I would like to send a shout out to three people and they are Stealth Gal, Vesuvian and Ace Doza. Thank you so much guys for all the love and support for your constructive comments, for sharing my work, appreciate it, much love to all of ya. So here we are facing Jay's team, which looks a bit like our uh, basic starting team when we first started in part 1. If you haven't seen that, go check that out after <laughs> this video. And uh, we are fighting a matchup battle, you may ask yourself why if you're not playing this game. Well, why not? <laughs> but more seriously, because uh, by by winning matchup battles, you get to increase your uh, player points, and by increasing your player points, you get to earn more honor badges per hour, and you can use those honor badges to uh, purchase some buildings, power up items, etc. That can only be bought with badges. So yeah, there you have it. And right now, I just put his fairy to sleep, and instead of attacking her right now, I'll just focus my attacks on the vagabond. Uh, so that she cannot regenerate his health points. There you go. And then she's still asleep now. We can just go ahead and uh, knock her out. And the award of the last that goes to... Tentra. Oh, no. I guess the vampire wanted the spotlights. <laughs> Alright, with our victory in our first matchup battle in the series. And uh, we're at, at 1000 points right now. And let's go ahead and uh, fight Shy, the strange girl. <laughs> and I'm gonna change my team's composition. 
with some uh, tougher opponents. Hmm, who should I put last? He has a fire warbear, fire tantra. Let's go ahead and put the bounty hunter in there. What a bounty hunter. I think it's a well balanced uh, team. Because uh, Shy is going to be relying on some fire monsters. And uh, yeah. Here we go. I'm not going to go easy on you either, girl. Boom. You guys see that? Bounty Hunter doing what he does best. Improving his teammates' uh, abilities. This is on uh, auto battle mode. If you guys are wondering why it's going so fast. Didn't hurt even one bit. And Elusha taking down the last opponent from uh, Shai's team. It sure was fun. And we'll see you soon, Shai. So those were nice warm-up fights. I believe we're ready to go into the Kairos dungeon. And try to fight uh, the Hall of Magic boss. I'm showing you some of the dropouts that you can get from each dungeon. I personally use the dungeons for grinding purposes, so I to grind my team's uh, skills and uh, ability points, as well as mining for the items that you need to awaken your teammates. So I think it's a great place to uh, improve your team. And here we go. Are you guys hungry for some magic? I know I am. <laughs> the Keeper of Magic. That's a pretty cool title. Alright, this is the first wave. Boom! Loving the fire blows by the Fire Fairy. I don't know if I said it earlier, but it doesn't matter. Booyah! This is the second wave. I am on auto battle mode until we reach the boss. And I'm wondering what you guys feel about this feature of the game. I'm also very curious about where you guys are from. And if you're playing the game, what level are you at? I mean, with over 10 million downloads. One's gotta be curious. <laughs> so leave me a comment in the comment section below. And here we are fighting the Keeper of Magic. I'm just gonna focus all of my attacks on him because once we defeat him, we the, the battle is just over, so we don't need to worry about his sidekicks. A few more hits, and we're uh, there. You go, victory! And we got an Essence of Magic Jewel that we can use later on to awaken our uh, summoned monsters. And right now we're going to be moving into the Hydeny runes. And these runes seem to be definitely on the tougher side compared to the previous areas. And I gotta admit, I am having a little bit of a hard time with some of the areas, but nothing I can't handle. <laughs> Also guys, stick around because after this fight we're going to be using some crystals to summon a mystical monster. So pretty excited about what we can get. The possibilities are endless. There are over 400 monsters in this game. So yeah. Second wave. Didn't even hurt a bit. Some fast paced action. Loving that. The third and last level. Ouch! <laughs> that one in the middle, I believe, is a wind monster. He seems to be dodging our attacks pretty well, which is unfortunate. The arrow attack! One of my favorite attacks. 
Out of my way. Okay, three to one. I like our odds. And boom! Destruction! We got an unknown scroll. Alright, and it is time! So let's go ahead and take the superstitious method by warming up the summon hinge, and we do that by using some basic scrolls so that when we use the mystical scroll we have higher chances of uh, hitting the jackpot. I don't know how you guys feel about this but it definitely I've been doing that for a little while now and it definitely makes me feel better. <laughs> Your feedback about my superstitious method is quite welcome in the comments section. Alright do you guys think the, the hinge is ready? I, I believe so. So let's go ahead and uh, Hopefully hit a five-star creature. Ooh, what is that? It looks so cool, don't you guys agree? A living armor. Not sure if this is a good monster to have in your team. If you guys do own one, let me know in the comment section. And with this, we come to the end of part five. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I sure did. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as letting me know in the comment section and sharing it with your friends. Appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you soon. Peace.